Hey, Thumpers, welcome back to another day from San Diego Comic Con. We're talking about Hall H. Woo. We're going to recap the panel for you. It was a lot of fun. It was very stressful getting into that panel. We were we were told it's going to be very busy. It's going to be at capacity. Yeah. We yeah. got in there, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then 1130, the show kicked off. Mm-hmm. Chris Hardwick came out. Chris Hardwick, in my opinion, is the best hype man. Gold standard. Absolutely. Gold, standard. Gold standard. Last year they had Conan O'Brien, and it was it was it, <laughs> it was, was rough. A letdown. It was a real letdown. <laughs> I love Conan. He doesn't give a shit about those movies no, that he, he showed. Like I love him, but you know that's not his thing. He wasn't a great moderator. Yeah. Warner Brothers really brought their A game. I feel like to this presentation. I yeah. think that they heard all the fans crying and screaming yeah. at them. Make it a show. Yeah. When those yeah. curtains pulled back and they revealed those extra gigantic screens awesome. right, where they right, could right. display all the movies. And then they had a light show. They had like like fog and all They the had sights. Jared Leto hologram. Yeah. Holy crap. I, yeah, I, I thought told it was, you it was Jared... a hologram. Yeah. I leaned over. I'm like, that's a hologram. And, and you were like, like no, really? Not. And when no, he no, disappeared, oh everyone went like, oh. Evaporated. And then Chris Hardwick goes, you know, I'm not hologram because I don't have future pants on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they right. kicked off the panel with Ready Player One. Blew yeah, me away. Really, really cool introduction yeah. with the title. They brought out Steven Spielberg. They I, was on my, I was on my feet before they brought him out. Because you were the only director. I'm like, no way. You were the only person. Standing I know, because it's Sir Steven Spielberg. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. man. Yeah. And in that, they showed Pinky in the Brain in one of the many, many images right. that they were getting like absorbed into yeah. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Logo, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that's a Steven Spielberg we saw, produced. We saw Batman 89. We saw 1966 Batman. Yeah. Like, oh, there was we saw Wonder Woman. Yeah, we saw all these video games. All these universes, like, or all these universes colliding. Yeah. And it was really cool to hear him talk about the movie. Because it's uh, for me, mm-hmm. not knowing the book, sure. I'm kind of going into Ready Player One really bare i don't know much about well, it and, and i would say i would say to you guys like really pulling me into it don't read the book wait for the movie because i want because i think that it's got a really great hook and i want to and i want you to experience it that way first yeah. and then go and kind of read the book and get the sort of director's extended cut sure, if you will sure. don't read the Hector, book i can't read anyway so it's fine that's i know man <laughs> yeah but don't have anybody read it to you <laughs> oh, okay. what I'm saying. Still, okay. don't, avoid don't it. buy that audio book <laughs> that was awesome ready player one then blade runner 2049 yeah. that timeline though that was yeah, cool they yeah. played a timeline that basically explains to you what happened between the events of the first blade runner uh-huh. from 2019 yeah to 2049, it's narrated by James Edward Olmos. Yep. Edward James Olmos. Edward James Olmos. <laughs> God yep. damn it. Yep. Uh, yeah, so, but that was really cool. They talked about, you know, kind of the state of the replicants and what and who Jared's Leto character kind of is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How he's trying to build this new army of replicants and all that kind of stuff. Really, really interesting. Then they had Denis Villeneuve come out with Ryan Gosling. Harrison, Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford, who didn't give a shit. Yeah. He was awesome. Yeah, it was Harrison amazing. He, he it was amazing. Goes, uh, yeah. One of Some, the questions he was asked was, uh, Harrison Ford, do you plan on rebooting every, every major franchise? And he goes, goddamn his, right. He, goddamn yeah. right. God. Yeah. The man he stood, stood up, up, too. He stood yeah. up. Yeah. God no, damn goddamn right. right. And he didn't, he wanted to duck a question, and Chris Hardwick was like, I could tickle you to get the answers out. And yeah. he was like, Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> and he kind of went, Chris Hardwick went over like, there and he got up like, yeah, he got up and it was great. And Hardwick went, Chris Hardwick was a murder today, really, at Comic Con, like in some news story because yeah. fucking Harrison Ford would have killed him. Yeah. It was great. But it was cool. And then they showed, really they showed an extended clip of Ryan Gosling talking to one of the characters and they're listening back to the tape of, of Deckard. The original movie. The original yeah. Movie yeah. Of Deckard yeah. interviewing the replicant. And it was, it was cool. I mean, it didn't really give different, us a lot of different context, tone. But tone yeah. Different tone. And it wasn't an action packed little piece of footage. Right. It was it really was just not, two yeah. characters talking. Talking, but the actress who played that replicant did it, such a cool job with these really precise movement. Right. It's just like it kind of right. sucked you in, physical, you know. Physical acting for sure, but a little boring. But I mean, again, it, that's kind of the that was that scene. Well, and so. especially because we had talked about when we did the trailer action for Blade Runner was why would you release the trailer before the panel? Right. Why not wait to have that and the scene and that timeline? I think you could have had a, a panel where mm-hmm. people would have been a little more more engaged with the scene because they were yeah. excited by yeah. it. But they sure. did show the trailer at the end. I mean, that trailer always gets people excited. It's a great trailer. Absolutely. 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 music great I, I feel I feel like the audience kind of didn't know what to make of that clip I agree right. that's what it was because yeah. it didn't really if you don't have context from the movie and you right. just know the first movie you're like right. okay it's a connect connective like piece yeah. but what does it mean? I think exactly. that Hall H exactly. especially is that that's the type of show that you just bring like very flashy action yeah, surface level yeah, yeah, almost yeah. shallow style sure. clips. You know what right. I mean? You don't you don't have that that hall of all of those people. I don't know, six thousand people right, or whatever. Right, just right. be like okay, sh- 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 everybody listen to the acting. Watch right, the acting. Right. It's you know it's cool. It's a show, but it's it's you know it's a rock. You need show. to bring a little bit more. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of shows, 
Then we kick off with Aquaman. DC Films. Yeah. DC Films, that whole intro, introducing all the slate of characters. Yeah. Love them all. Literally, that opening so intro that we saw at the beginning of Wonder Woman, that thing must have like 60 characters on it. Because mm-hmm. you yeah. can look and you're just yeah. like, you're pointing out so many different characters. Yeah. But yeah, they introed with Aquaman, which I, I was surprised by. I thought they would start with Justice League and then end with Aquaman. Right. Well, chronologically comes out after. Because pluses and minuses. Right. Plus, we open with Aquaman and James Wan and the crew, they put a little something special together yeah. just for yeah. us, minus. We're 18 months out, and they don't have a trailer yet. That's yes. the thing. So, like, because they didn't have a trailer to show, it's probably why they decided to start with Aquaman, have him hype everybody up, then you bring in the cast of Justice League, end on Justice League, because yeah. they got mm-hmm. stuff to show. Jason Momoa, uh, Chris Harwick announces Jason Momoa is here. What does he do? He runs through Hall H. From the back runs of the room from the back. With a trident in his hand. Trident in hand, and the security next to him going, I fucking hate this guy. This son of a bitch is running around. <laughs> He's going fast. He was going he was, fast. He was, he was like 6'5", yeah. so the yeah. big guy can haul. Yeah. But it was awesome. I like Those are the types of things that I think we've all talked about that we wanted Warner Brothers to bring right, these panels. Right, right. We Some, want somebody, somebody compared him to like, well, now he's like the Loki, the Tom Hiddleston of the DCEU, kind of, of the sort of Warner Brothers side. And I th- I agree. I think that for, for, for better or worse, whatever they had or didn't have to show, all of that stuff aside – uh, you know, whatever they want to talk about, controversy, whatever, they brought, it was like a good time panel. It was well, like yeah, a yeah. enthusiasm. These actors are stoked to be there. It was a party. You got right. Ray Fisher, Ezra Miller. They always hype up the energy. Jason Momoa breaking chairs. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 And I will say, in, fun. in comparison to last year, and I wasn't there, but I watched all the panel footage, it was very sort of like, Serious and right, and right. Kind of very like formatted. Slow. It's very, very formatted. Yeah, it's just it like this is a formal. panel. This is what we do. Right. We're going to present Whereas videos. This was and we're just done. like, hey, we're going to have fun. When yeah. they announced the Justice League cast, they also came out on the floor. They were high fiving yeah. people. They were walking down the yeah. main the main row of Hall H. It just had a very different fun energy that I think we've always Agreed. wanted from Agreed. the DC Agreed. panels. Agreed. And I was super, super happy to see that. And you're right. Even the actors had energy. Gal yeah. Gadot, always smiling, always looking beautiful. She got She's the wonderful. most love out of everybody. She when she came she up, she so just so, so much clapping, so much cheering, yeah. everything. And she You know what I love? You know what I love? And this may seem like a no-brainer to some people, but listen, man. I've been going to Comic-Con since I was 10 years old. Mm-hmm. When there was the guy who went up to ask a question dressed as Wonder Woman, he didn't get laughed out of the room. Oh. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, I'm just realizing that now. I'm like, that's a big deal. And Gal was saying, I love you. I love you. And he he was like, I love. He was like, you're all my boys, but you're my gal. Like yeah, yeah. the fact uh-huh. that that the uh, and also Hall H was just so supportive of like there was a kid who was so nervous he was stuttering. Yeah, wow. that's the stuff for those little Q and A portions. Right, right. It just melts your heart. I yeah. love that shit. It's great. Yeah. But that guy dressed as Wonder, a mm-hmm. guy dressed as Wonder Woman. It's fine. Yeah. It's great. It's not yeah. a big deal. And we would yeah. all dress as Wonder Woman. Totally. Like, <laughs> yeah. And that's because that's because of what DC's been doing to push this character in the past couple of years. Right. And how good that movie was. Right. And. Um, Everybody's embracing yeah. Gal in the role. So, like, that was a great moment for me was absolutely. to see that. Let's yeah, talk about that Aquaman footage for a second because yeah. that's something that so far has not been released online. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's a lot of stuff being done with James Wan talking over narration. We get a lot of concept work. We get a really nice look at Atlantis, mm-hmm. Mira, Arthur. And he was some talking of the to the camera. He's like, this is just for you guys. Yeah. 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 Comic Con. Yeah, We're in Australia. Here he goes, here he goes. You know, well, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what he did. Uh, we, we got, got to see an army of sharks. Like, yeah. like dudes riding sharks, which was really yeah. cool. Yeah, and we got a very, Chips. very quick look at Black Manta. Yep. Very really? Quick. In the a concept very quick part? one. Okay. Very quick one, Because yeah. he's apparently not the villain no. of the film. No. Right. I think it's already been confirmed. Is Patrick Wilson playing him? Yes. Ocean so Pat- Patrick Wilson is playing yeah. uh, Orin, or Orn. Uh, who is, I think it's Orin, actually. Orin? Or Orin. Orin. Or Orin. I-N. Orin. Orin. Someone in the comments will tell us. Yeah. I think it's Orin. Anyway. The brother of Arthur Curry, right. or the half brother, and uh, and so we saw uh, this fleet of underwater ships that felt like they were inspired by like manta rays. Exactly. Really yeah. organic, really cool, underwater, heading towards something. A funny fishing boat bit before that, right. and then a kid asks a question, or no, not a kid. Well, real quick, you made a comment about that footage though at the very very beginning. What was when it? the footage started? You, so the footage starts. You see two guys on a little fishing yes. boat, and they're fishing. And, and then Hector what? leans over to me and he says, "This feels like a horror movie." Mm-hmm. James Wan. It's it's like. There's not a lot happening, but just the look and the camera position. There's a little up, layer of creepiness. Little tense, yeah, this yes. little creepiness. Yeah. Yeah. Close-ups on the, on, the, on the, what is this thing called? The reel? Spool, reel. The spool, I don't know, yeah. fishing. I'm sorry, guys. You fishers, <laughs> you let me know. You fishing people. Uh, but just the close-ups. Fishermen. I was like, this, Fishermen. It, it was like Saw. Yeah. It was like yeah. a, a, an indie horror type of. It, just, did, it almost, did feel like a B-horror movie. Almost like Sam Raimi when he yeah. would shoot like the Dr. Octopus right. hospital scene right. in Spider-Man. Right. You know, those like... <laughs> Those, Those kind of cuts. like close-ups yeah. and almost a little comedic. I'm like, this is this mm-hmm. this this tense, right. not Jaws because it's very bright and everything, yeah, 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 but like, right. this is little Jaws because yeah. we didn't know what what was pulling them, and then they break off, and it's the fleet. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the fleet underneath them. We get to see like fins of some of these ships. 
And then, of course, you, see, you know, somebody asks, like, who, 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 someone asked Jason Momoa, who are we seeing in this footage? Is like, Black what is Manta? this? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, well, I've already gotten enough trouble for spoiling things, so I'll tell you right now. <laughs> it's Ocean Master's army. He's all fine. Yeah. At one point, the camera actually pans and goes underneath the water. Mm -hmm. You see all of these ships and all these, like, sharks and stuff coming at camera, and then, like, the camera basically cuts to as a shark basically like swallows up yeah. the camera mm -hmm. um but it looked really really it cut, it cut cool. also it cut to great. aquaman himself that's right underwater but his hair was down he was like he was in talking. atlantis so it was like a yeah. bubble or something yeah he was in atlantis and he said something like well bring it on or something like yeah, he kind of yeah, crouched yeah. down he's basically the wolverine yeah. of the justice yeah. like that's yeah. fair to say, yeah, that's fair to say. he's like a combination wolverine and thor he's yeah. like Ares, the <laughs> yeah. god of war in in uh in um uh avengers yeah. uh not new avengers what is it avengers oh, i'm blanking uh, Zach, help me out. He's asleep. Uh, Avengers, Brian Michael Bendis, after Civil War. What was the name of the Avengers team? Was it just the Avengers? Like the state-sponsored Avengers? With Iron Man, Sentry, Ms. Marvel. I know... I, My burrito's getting cold, Hector. It's just Avengers. Yeah, it like the Golden Age or yeah what a heroic age or whatever. No, not quite that far back. Anyway, the point is, he's like Ares the God burrito. of War. He's like... Wolverine combined with Thor. That's yeah. who this Aquaman is. Yeah. He got down with that trident. Yeah. And, was, and then it For like, sure. cut. For sure. sure. Yeah. All right. And then they released, obviously, the movies that were coming out. The very first one, Shazam. Yeah. And there was that report that came out two <laughs> days ago talking about that. That's going to start filming first? Yeah, that that was going to be starting start filming first, January, February. The, then it was, it was going to lead into a 2019 release date. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, Chris Hardwick, one of the first things that he brought up after they released the slate, which was interesting because they had said they had Shazam. Then they had Suicide Squad. Two. Well, it's, it may not be in this particular order, but it was Shazam, Suicide Squad 2, Batgirl. Okay. Oh. So Shazam, Suicide Squad 2, The Batman, yeah. Justice League Dark, <laughs> Batgirl, mm -hmm. Green Lantern Corps, Flashpoint, and Wonder Woman 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we, the, one of the reports that we were talking about yesterday was talking about how, how Warner Brothers may or may not be planning an exit strategy for Ben Affleck's Batman. Yeah. Chris Hardwick brings it up, but I remember one of the reports saying that it could be dealt with in the storyline, in the timeline of the movies, which immediately kind of leads you to to speculate that it could be a yeah. Flashpoint story. Sure. Yeah. Now that we have a confirmation that there's a Flashpoint story, do you think that that's the route they're going to go? And the fact that it got moved so far back in the release slate. I don't know. It could mean anything. Look at yeah. how many movies are listed here. Right. A lot this can is, happen in the movies. Let me tell you the best possible scenario. Like This is what... This is what... This is all it could mean. Ben Affleck hasn't signed contracts for anything past the Batman, mm -hmm. and that they could just start bringing in other characters to focus on other characters other than Batman. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all it could mean. Yeah. And the Flashpoint movie could literally mean that they're going to bring in Jeffrey Dean Morgan to play alternate universe Thomas Wayne, who he becomes a Batman for a movie. And at the end of that, Ezra Miller fixes it. We still get Batman back. People are saying maybe in that they'll recast it yeah. because the universe will be different. It doesn't so have to realign can, exactly. But it's like, right. but dude, if you do that, are you recasting Everyone. everybody? Wonder Woman? Yeah. Superman? The Joker? Like, what? What is that? Well, also think it, about the timeline. How long is it going to take to get to that point? It, right. it, yes, you know? exactly. And, and I think that comic book fans immediately went to that because what they're, what, what, Hollywood reporters may be reporting, or at least by saying they'll maybe address it in the story. That's essentially what DC Comics did in 2011 with mm -hmm. the New 52. Mm -hmm. That's what led to the New 52. And in right. the New 52, you had a 25 year old Batman yeah. who, you know, the Flash shows up, hands him a letter, like, oh, by the way, I talked to your dad. Yeah. And in the letter, it's like, son, it's me. I'm alive. I was Batman. Yeah. Uh, I love you. You're, you're, I know that you should have been alive. And I just wanted to send this letter to you, yeah. whatever, whatever. And, you know, 25 year old Bruce Wayne, like, shed a tear. It's still in his cave. And now they're dealing with fighting the Watchmen. Like yeah. that's what DC yeah. Comics is right now. Um, could they do that in a movie? Yeah, but I feel like it's not necessary. If right. your if your question to me is, do you think that this is could be one way they could do it? Yeah, but it, it I feel like it definitely draws attention to it more than anything else. And I don't necessarily know if that's what they could even be doing because yeah. when Chris brought it up to Ben Affleck, first question, and I and I think it was handled probably the best way that it could have been handled like yeah, kudos Mark. to chris hardwick kudos to warner brothers kudos to the ben affleck kudos to the cast and everything but you can still listen to every single thing that was said and draw your own conclusions kind of right. a thing essentially because he didn't really give no, us an answer don't know right. anything right so what what did he say and what was you know what well was, yeah what that happened? was the interesting part chris hardwick asked him you know there's been reports going on for the last couple of days and and 
I, and I immediately after the panel, I, I saw some people or some websites writing like Ben Affleck debunks, you know, his exit from DCU. He doesn't really give you a solid answer. No, he he doesn't. doesn't say, yes, I'm going to play Batman forever. And right. he doesn't say, no, I'm not going to be playing Batman anymore. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the best political answer that you can give because he, I'm sure behind the scenes they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. He just said it was an honor to play Batman. Yeah. And he and said I, that Batman is the coolest part of any DC movie. Yeah, and I'm I like, believe him. Cool. Yeah. Like, exactly. he, he said we, the coolest part of any universe. Yeah. yeah. And, and we've I'm all like, hey, heard. Hey, man, you played Daredevil, but you're right. But exactly. you're right. Batman's <laughs> the coolest part of any universe. Heard. We've all heard Ben Affleck talk about how much he loves the Batman character. Yeah. Right. So, so I believed him. I, so I think everything that he said w- was true. And I just feel like he they didn't feel like they need to definitively answer whether or not he's going to play sure. Batman. He yeah. says he did say that it's like it is a great honor. He said that he w- if Matt Reeves wanted him to play a freaking ape in the apes movies, like yeah. he would because yeah. it's Matt Reeves, which is yeah. great. Exactly. So it's like we got confirmation he is going to be in the Batman, yes. but he didn't come out and say, guys, I'm, I'm just going to tell I'm you, done. I'm doing Batman two, I'm doing Batman three, I'm going to yeah. be in Justice League three. Yeah. Don't he worry, didn't say any I'm, of that. He, I'm here until I'm sixty years old. Like yeah. he didn't say that, which again I understand why he didn't. Right. That's not how this works exactly. so you it's know like Robert Downey Jr. said like we're gonna make seven Iron Man movies and five Avenger movies I'm gonna pop up in every other movie yeah. it's like no it's one movie at a time once your contract runs up yeah. they renegotiate yeah. for every single movie absolutely and I mean I think if you're gonna bring in Batgirl into the slate yeah I mean you're probably gonna have Batman Especially if that movie's coming out before yeah. Flashpoint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing that they didn't put on the slate was the Nightwing movie. Nightwing. That was surprising. Nightwing at all. Chris McKay is supposed to be doing that movie, but maybe they're just not sure where they're going to slot it in yet. But if sure. you're going to have Nightwing, you got to have Batman in that movie Absolutely. at some point. I think that'd Absolutely. be very interesting if they yep. didn't. So if Ben Affleck's role in the DCEU is Batman versus Superman, Justice League, the Batman, and cameos like Suicide Squad uh, or Batgirl or whatever it is, then to me, that's... Fine. I don't need this entire universe to just be about Batman. And like we said last night, if Ben Affleck does want to walk away, or if Warner Brothers wants to replace him, which Warner Brothers don't replace him, don't no. don't you shouldn't be the you guys should be asking him to continue to do this stuff. Which but, sounds like but, they are. But we totally get. We talked about it last night. I totally get that. You know, Ben Affleck being um, frustrated with how much this has taken over his life. Right. Even though he really harped on it today, that how fucking awesome it is yeah. to be at Hall H and say I'm Batman. Um, I would also want them to just recast and Ben Affleck keep doing what you're doing. You're a director. Mm-hmm. You're an actor. Mm-hmm. Do whatever you want creatively. Yeah. Do whatever's great for your life. Live your best life, Ben. Mm-hmm. And Warner Brothers, you know, if you need Batman to keep being in these movies. Just recast it, but don't yeah. make it a big Flashpoint thing. Right, no. Flashpoint should be centered around the Flash. Yeah. Flashpoint should be for Ezra Miller's Barry Allen and for whatever it will be great for that character. Mm-hmm. If Jeff Johns p- put pumped the brakes on the Flash movie and went, you know what would be best? Let's do Flashpoint because it explores the origin of his mom getting killed by reverse Flash. Right. And let's just do that as a movie. Great. But if they're like, you know what? Let's do Flashpoint because we need to recast some actors. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 yeah. not, not, not a That's good not plan, a good I reason. Think. It's not a good um, reason. You're doing a disservice to everybody at that point. Yeah, yeah but, I was, I but I was definitely missing uh, 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 Nightwing. And um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to unpack. And I think, I think that it was such a fun, great panel, but I think that that uh, people felt like maybe we needed, we wanted more information. People just wanted more info. Right, maybe right. specific release dates. Yeah, maybe casting spe- announcements. Specificity, because they did give us a lot of info. What, yeah. you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff, teases, a lot of logos. No specific information. Jeff Johns had come out and been like, next up, Shazam. This and here's, here's where we're at right now. You know, uh, we got a script or we're working on it, whatever. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of yeah. been that's that's been the route that Warner Brothers has kind of taken with these movies every single year. We always kind of get a lineup of logos. Sometimes they talk about what year, sometimes they don't talk about it, but I feel like it just updates every single year and yeah. it would be nice after now the three, last three Comic-Cons that they've done that is for them to come out Jeff Johns and Chris Hardwick to just come out. Where are we at with the DC universe? Yeah, we're doing this on this day, this day, this, 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 this. Looking for a director on this. Yep. We got a writer working on this. Exactly. We're in the casting exactly. process of this. Nothing, we're, you and know. now that now that the Flashpoint movie has kind of been moved towards the back part of the slate. Yeah, maybe they're not looking for a director at yeah. this point. Maybe they're yeah. still trying to figure it all out. So, really interesting stuff. But I do agree. I wish there was more information stuff that we could really unpack. The only thing we're like, really going off of is yeah. like what they talked about in the panel about Justice League. Yes, what they talked about. Uh, you know about Ben Affleck's kind of answer about whether or not he'll be continuing. It's all kind of speculative. You can't. We can't really come out here and say like, well, he said this because he <laughs> didn't really give us an answer. He didn't so. say anything. He didn't exactly. say anything. I will. I, well, I will say yeah. that whether it was a PR stunt or not, Ben Affleck saying, "I am so enthusiastic about this. I buy it." Yeah, me too. I could me feel too. the could positive feel energy. I could in that feel room. it for yeah. sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. A lot and, of really good energy. And the fans were like happy he was there. Like exactly. that's all there. Don't worry about yeah. that shit, Warner Brothers. It's all they good. They got that shit on lockdown. They got that on lockdown. I think that, uh, yeah, I think it would have been super awesome to just get more information, yeah. some mm-hmm. concrete detail because the hype was there. 
maybe just some information. Details weren't there. Details. Yeah. yeah. And and one one person actually did ask about the reshoots. Yeah. And uh, Ray Fisher did a really good job of answering that. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, saying, he didn't really answer that. Uh, I, it, it was a bit more of a clear answer than with the Ben Affleck thing because yeah. he says like, well, we're doing them. Yeah. They're minimal. We're just about we're done. We're just about done. Mm -hmm. And Joss is doing an amazing job and Zach couldn't have picked a better person to kind of mm -hmm. steer this steer this boat into the harbor. Right. Right, and I also right. think too that the fans specifically said, what's with these reshoots? Are you guys already doing Justice League uh -huh. Part 2? Uh -huh. right, right. And I think it was Jason Momoa who said, well, if we did, we wouldn't tell you. Like he kind of played with that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Ray Fisher came in and tried to kind of be, right. get, give like the in, like the information answer, yeah. which is like eh, okay. But I think right. maybe Jason Momoa's answer may have been just like enough yeah. to just yeah. be like, eh, yeah, he, keep he, it didn't, he didn't right. need to go yeah. in and explain exactly. But I'm kind of, but I am, I'm personally glad that he did say that because I know a lot of these sites tend to run with a lot of articles of like reshoots and the disasters and all these kind of things. Yeah. So it was nice for Ray Fisher to just say like, we're doing them. Yeah. We're almost done. Yeah. Movie comes out soon. We can't wait for you guys to see it. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I guess we could just take it at that face value like exactly. until we hear otherwise. Oh, man. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Uh, overall, really fun panel. Had a really good time. Really good energy for Warner Brothers. Yeah. Please continue doing yeah. that every single year. Hopefully next year, a little more information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More information. Mm -hmm. But make sure you guys stay tuned right here. YouTube.com slash HyperRPG. We're going to bring more coverage from San Diego Comic-Con. Ready Player One is on the way. And also tonight, Marvel Studios. We'll see you guys yeah. later.